Faith on Film. Again, a program that is designed to keep you aware and informed of everything that's happening in the world of Faith and Family Films. Thank you for tuning in today. I've got a great guest for you today. Actor and rising star Josh Murray is proving himself worthy of becoming part of Hollywood's next generation of elite leading men. Growing up, Murray always had an affinity for film from his father's own stint in Hollywood. After years of studying the art of acting and pounding the pavement, he landed his first significant acting gig on National Geographic's Killing Lincoln. The film went on to win a slew of awards, including three Primetime Emmy Awards. Currently, Murray is completing the feature-filled Jim Rat as lead actor and producer. Murray is also a skilled musician, having studied the piano, Irish flute, and the tin whistle. I have to admit, now I am a musician, but I, I had never heard of the tin whistle, so we're going to have to have him explain to us what in the world that is. Josh, welcome to Faith on Film. How's your thumb, by the way? My thumb is uh, significantly improved, but uh, still a little numb and still black and purple. So um, that, it's it's, uh, it's a lot better than it was a couple weeks ago. That's for sure. I can finally bend it. So oh, that's getting that's good. I'm I'm letting the folks here know. We actually tried to do this show a couple of weeks ago, and right before we were going to do the show, you texted me that you weren't going to be able to because you had smashed your finger. How did you do that? I dropped a 25 pound barbell plate on it. Ouch. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it's getting better. Never, you know, I've, I've been working out in the gym consistently for about eight mm -hmm. years. I've never hurt myself, and I was in a rush. I was so excited to see you and get on your show <laughs> that I was hurrying through my workout, and uh, I carelessly got my uh, yeah my thumb stuck so, stuck between some concrete and some iron. So I am responsible for that. Well, hey, I'm glad it's getting better because it would be a little tough to uh, you know hitchhike this way. Uh, this mm -hmm. way. I know. Well, anyway, Josh, uh, the reason that I wanted to have you on, and we'll talk about this a little bit more on the second segment, was because you wrote something on Facebook. I think you were sharing um, sort of, you know, what, what your heart's desire is in, in terms of filmmaking. And somebody overheard you and really kind of was rather discouraging. And I thought, you know what, we need to have him on the show because here people will be encouraging to you, all right? So we'll get into that a little bit. But first, we want to know, how in the world did you even get into this, into filmmaking? Yeah, good question. Uh, that's something I've reflected a lot about in, in retrospect. And I, I mean, it's kind of a long story in terms of the deeper reasons of how mm -hmm. and why I got into it. But uh, the, in, in the, the shortest possible version, um, I had health issues that were preventing me from doing a lot of the passions that I was interested in and were really limiting. And I was looking for something as, as an escape, as an outlet that I could do with my physical limitations. Um, I also felt that there was a lot of things that were just missing in my life in my in my person and i was hearing more about independent film and even came across some some faith-based filmmakers in my area mm -hmm. um, who were also doing stuff and i just had this this really strong curiosity to, to, to check it out and I, I just felt like i don't know if this is something i'm supposed to do but like i just i really feel this draw like this this urge to to just explore it um, and I, I went and found this, this local group that was meeting at a church and mm -hmm. they were making short films and, and trying to create community. And they were about to do actually a 168, as you know, 168 oh, yeah. film project, uh, a, a competition entry. And so I went to the audition and I never taken a class before. I'd never studied acting. Um, but I knew I wanted to try it and it was very scary. I was like petrified going in there. Um, but I managed to hold myself together well enough to deliver some lines and they, you know, gave me a part, a small speaking part in this film. And that was, that was how I got my start. Now it does say though in your bio that you had an affinity for filmmaking from, I guess, when you were very young, was it just something you had thought about, but never really seriously. And it wasn't until this point that it became I more serious or. Yeah, well, I never had a plan or, or an expectation mm -hmm. of being involved in filmmaking and acting. I did have uh, fantasies about like sure. making films in my mind, uh, not like necessarily thinking I was going to be a filmmaker, but mm -hmm. I did imagine, in fact, uh, my favorite book growing up was Lord of the Rings, and I used to imagine like how I would make it if I was making like a, an animated film I was thinking would be a computer animated film, how I'd turn it into a movie. But uh, my dad was a screenwriter uh, since oh, okay. before I was born. As a, as a, on the side, a spec screenwriter. And so I did grow up reading his scripts and I did grow up imagining as well how mm -hmm. those would look on the big screen. And so I, I had developed, you know, a familiarity with screenplays right. from like 
even 10 years old, like reading scripts and imagining how they would be as movies and also oh, watching okay. films and like really in, like watching behind the scenes of films and just a fascination with it, but never an expectation huh. that I would actually be involved with it as a job. See, I mean, and I've been saying this now through many of the shows that I've done, because uh, the, the, many of the people that I've interviewed have pretty much since they were kids, you know, had, they have felt that calling perhaps, but it, they've gone kind of all around and finally ended up in it. And I believe, you know, God had actually chosen you from probably from birth. I don't know. It, um, you know, to, to be involved in this type of thing. And you just didn't quite get it until years later. But I think you were called to it since you were a kid. Yeah, yeah, very could very well be. I mean, I, I my my dad kind of gave me an interesting introduction to it very early mm -hmm. in life and also just watching old classic films and the yeah. appreciation of them. He was always very passionate about it. But interestingly, he never, you know, encouraged me to get mm -hmm. involved. In fact, he mostly discouraged me about getting involved <laughs> with it because it was never a, a money making right. Right. venture for him. And has it become a money money uh, a money making venture now? Well, you know, it's interesting since I've become an actor and gotten more involved mm -hmm. in the industry and with producing and, and, and get, developing all the connections, uh, I, I was able to actually get um, one of his short scripts made into a film. Actually, oh. I, I was able to collaborate with him on two short films to get them made and got one of his screenplays sold and I've actually written, co-written one with him now, which I'm also planning to produce at some point. So it's the dream is coming to fruition yes. uh, in the long term. Well, I have seen uh, several of the, the movies that you've been on, and uh, I've got to tell you, you're very good at it. Okay, I, uh, I, I think of, I remember that short film that you guys did uh, for the 168, but I've also seen you in a film called The Reliant, and mm, um, uh, yes. you, you, did a, you did a magnificent job in that. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, let's talk about this situation that I read about in Facebook. Maybe I don't know the whole story, but you can enlighten us a little bit about it. And we'll find out what it is that you, you know, that your dreams are, all right? Folks, don't go away. We're going to be right back. Hello and welcome back to Faith on Film. We are here with Josh Murray. And, you know, I really wanted to have Josh on because of something, as I mentioned on the first segment, that I saw him post on Facebook. Now, Josh... Um, just explain to us what exactly happened there because it seems like you were sharing a little bit of your heart that you know uh, of, of what's in your heart in terms of filmmaking and somebody just seemed to feel like uh, they wanted to tear you down or something uh, but what exactly happened yeah well i was talking to um talking to some of my team mm -hmm. uh, about my goals with with doing some publicity and some press and um talking about you know what what impact i wanted to make what i wanted to share what stories i wanted to tell uh in this season when i was having some opportunities to do interviews and more interviews and press and, and whatnot this year and uh they were i was kind of a getting to know you meeting with mm -hmm. some people i had you know just just recently started collaborating with and uh, so they wanted to know just a bit about me and you know what am I doing? What's my vision? What's my purpose? What's my mission? What's what's my brand? And um, so I was really just kind of going through like this is what I'm about. This is who I am. This is what I'm trying mm -hmm. to, to for the story I'm trying to tell. This is the impact I'm trying to make in the world. And and you know what are my goals? What are my goals in the industry? Goals in life? Goals with my art? And just kind of giving them a survey of like what is Josh Murray about? And it was also kind of, well, not kind of, it, it, w it was a big step. It was a big step mm -hmm. of me going from, uh, you know, I, I've done press, I mean, even eight years ago, I, I've done a lot of interviews and stuff, but it, this was, uh, you know, if you, if you read my Medium article, I was really sharing more, more than just about the experience of movie making, more mm -hmm. about like my perspective on the world and, mm -hmm. and being more vulnerable and more open and transparent about what I'm about and and uh, that was you know a big step for me in a lot of ways and in the middle of sharing all this stuff and, and, and trying to trying to be trying to impart the enthusiasm for it mm -hmm. to to these people and and really sharing my heart this woman who was like in a table nearby at this coffee shop that we were at total, total stranger total stranger yeah didn't know her from from Adam or, or Eve to more to the point uh she stands up and walks over to my table like from like here to here and just starts cursing me out 
and just wow. saying like you're so full of it and just like insulting me and cursing me out and like like angry like vitriolic oh. like intense like like calling me out and her her i mean i could tell she was disturbed I, she wasn't like a homeless person mm -hmm. um but i could tell that she was unstable um and uh you know everyone in the coffee shop was kind of on edge and, and a little you know taken aback by this but i just didn't feel like there was anything rational to be said to her i mean it was mm -hmm. none of her business my conversation there's nothing right. that i said that was bad i mean i wasn't talking bad about anyone um there was absolutely no justification to to be confronting me like this so i chose not to engage with her i chose mm -hmm. to ignore her and just to continue my conversation but she didn't she didn't just go away i think the manager of the store had to come over and like call security and oh um, my goodness. and escort her out of the coffee shop um but it's interesting anyway in retrospect it was just really interesting to me from a like a bigger life lesson mm -hmm. like deeper underlying um dynamic that she didn't talk she didn't do that to anyone else in the coffee shop it was, it was a packed busy coffee shop in hollywood mm -hmm. And she didn't say that to anyone else. She didn't unleash anyone else. I mean, she was obviously a difficult person, obviously emotionally imbalanced, but she didn't say it to anyone else. And it was just really interesting to me, the timing of that. Like I haven't had that happen to me. Um, and it certainly haven't, can't remember last time anyone just started <laughs> yelling at me. Um, and it was really interesting in retrospect that here I am taking this step to like show up and show out Mm -hmm. more of who I am and like immediately this like attack just it was an attack on on my character and and my you know my validity my identity that I'm sharing that I get you know cursed out and attacked by this random stranger like just as I'm doing that and I felt like as I was reflecting on it that you know that is that is like that is a that's a really essential thing of life is that when you step out when mm -hmm. you stand up and say you know what like i'm gonna i'm gonna take this step i'm gonna be bold i'm gonna share who i am like you become a target like you raise your head above like the the, the safe zone your comfort yeah. zone when you stand up and, and you take a stand and when you start to, to share stuff that are pr precious to you like you become a target and like right. the, you know the crazies and the, yeah. the hateful people like they come at you and so you have to be prepared for that. Yeah, well, I, I think there's even a, a deeper spiritual thing that's happening here because, you know, what we what we do in the area of, of filmmaking, um, I think is a, a very important tool that God is using right now that, that's reaching far beyond what the church has been able to reach. And so we're, we're, I think, a threat to the enemy. So when you see somebody that's ready to move forward with something, I think the enemy's gonna come in and try to knock you down. Um, do you feel like maybe absolutely. that could happen to you? Absolutely, no, absolutely. And and um, I I was gonna say too that um, I I actually I just lost my train of thought. There was something that you were saying that was that was very good about that that I was gonna add on to. Uh, well, that that we're that, that filmmaking is a big is a very important tool that God is using that goes beyond even what the church has done. Yeah, yeah, and there there is a, there is a special mm -hmm. dynamic to it. Um, and uh, and yeah, there is there is that attack to, to try to silence the voice. And I was gonna say, like when you are doing something purposeful and and maybe bold or, or yeah. you know out of your comfort zone, taking a step forward, and you get attacked, like there's a temptation to really put you on your heels, right? There's a temptation right. to feel like, oh, this is this is you know I got something uncomfortable, you know I got I got this flack or I got this you know I got this attack, yeah. so maybe I'm making a mistake, right? There's always a temptation to feel like, oh, maybe mm -hmm. I, I went too far. Maybe maybe this is, you know, this is too much. Um, and, and to know that that when you're doing something good, you are going to be attacked because evil does not want to see good succeed. Right. And so when, right. when you experience that, like it's kind of a sign that you're on the right track, actually, even though it, the temptation is to be like, ooh, maybe I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> risking too much. This is not comfortable. And it might not be someone chewing you out. It might not be someone criticizing you. Like maybe maybe it's like you know you have a car accident or right. maybe yeah. like you you know drop a weight on your thumb or whatever and you're like uh <laughs> like i'm trying to do this good and like all these bad things are happening so like maybe this was a mistake right so when you get that adversity and you get that that sort of whiplash uh -huh. from taking a step forward like it's good to be prepared to say yeah. like, okay when you step up you're gonna become a target 
and it's a sign that you're doing something good and to recognize yeah. that like it comes with the territory and, and look at it as a sign that like when you fight, when you fall into persecution and adversity, mm -hmm. um, like to rejoice because that means that, you know, it's a sign yeah. that you're, that you're doing something good, that you're doing something powerful. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to take another break and when we come back, I'd like to hear what it is that you were talking about or, or what it is that your, that, you know, your heart is desiring in terms of filmmaking. Uh, and we're going to encourage you about it. All right. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back after this call. Hello and welcome back to Faith on Film. We are here with Josh Murray and Josh is going to share with us a little bit about what is in his heart as it relates to filmmaking. Uh, and then I'm going to ask you to write him and encourage him so that he can, because I know this, this takes... It, it, you really need to know people are, are praying for you and backing you up. So, Josh, tell us a little bit about what is in your heart in terms of filmmaking. What, what, was, what is it that you're trying to accomplish or wanting to accomplish that you feel God has put in your heart? Yeah. Um, there's there's a, a few words that have come to me mm -hmm. that have really resonated with me and settled in me about understanding what it is I'm doing, what is my purpose, and, and what I'm trying to, to share with the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, one of them is is adventure the 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 way i like to describe adventure is uh the joy of um i, sh I should say i should say actually uh, adventure is the art of finding the joy on the other side of your fear hmm. and uh i i have both developed a, a, a passion and an understanding of the value of venturing both inside and outside so what that looks like for me um is is exploring more of the depths of who i am mm -hmm. and more of and what i was created to be um and and also explore um the experience of of the world like the create like the creation that okay. god's given us um and that includes people and experiences and and, and nature um and those are things that that I find so much fulfillment in and, and really the, the excitement and of the exploration and the, of the unknown mm -hmm. in all of that the discoveries that you make along the way. And, um, the, the thing about acting and about filmmaking, um, that I really love is that I get to give people the experience of truth, mm -hmm. not just the explanation of truth, just the knowledge of truth, but to, to give people an experience of truth, and and that's what I'm that's what I'm really okay. ultimately chasing is is getting a better understanding of the truth, and experiencing that, and then giving people the experience of that truth. And so, part of having that experience is having the boldness and the courage mm -hmm. to go to those places that might be scary, that might be intimidating, that might be unknown, um, and 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 overcoming those fears that are holding you back from experiencing that joy that's on the other side. So is the movie Jim Rat that you are working on right now, is that kind of part of this journey? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I try to put it into every role, and it's interesting, some some roles that I've had that on the surface, they wouldn't say that they're like super meaningful from like a deep mm -hmm. emotional, spiritual standpoint, but I've had people message me saying that they that they got stuff from seeing my, my, my role that was really cool and inspiring to me. And I want to do that more and more okay. to where I'm, I'm imparting something in every role, even if I'm not playing a guy that you want to emulate, mm -hmm. um, that there is a, a revel, some kind of revelation right. uh, and experience of truth that people can connect with that takes them deeper and, and, and inspires them really to keep going deeper. Uh, but Jim Rat, you know, I didn't write the script. Um, my director cores did, uh, but uh, I've been as a producer and an actor had a lot of input, a lot of influence, a lot of participation in the in the crafting mm -hmm. of this art that we're making, um, and so I'm I'm able to influence and and bring more of that vision and that impact into what I'm doing than ever before because I'm I am taking such a large responsibility in the in the creation of it. Wow. Well, uh, where are you in the process right now? I mean, have you started shooting? Uh, are you just in the pre-production well, we process? So we, we raised the initial the initial money that we mm -hmm. were able to and started filming last year. We shot most of the movie. Nice. Uh, we were getting ready to start raising the rest this year, and then COVID hit and, and everything kind of yeah. slowed down. Um, but we are really like days away from launching our equity crowdfunding. Right. 
uh, campaign to get the finishing funds so that we can do the pickups and, okay. and finish post production. But the cool thing is we haven't our editor you know already working through the existing footage, so mm -hmm. we're we're kind of like most of the way through filming, gonna be most of the way through editing, and then we're gonna use the finishing funds to get the last shots and then finish right. finish the post post, well, post process. I, we look forward yeah. to seeing that. Now, if people want to reach out to you, if they want to follow what you're doing, if they want to you know encourage you, if they want to maybe even help out with this movie, how would they reach you? Um, well, my email is info at joshmurray.net. You're welcome to send me an email. Uh, on social media, I, I use Instagram the most. So if you go to Josh Murray Actor, it's Josh Murray Actor um, on Instagram. That's where I'm most active, and I share a lot about health journey, self-development, mm -hmm. mental and emotional wellness, as well as all the, 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 the media and entertainment stuff that I'm, I'm creating. Um, but you can find me on Twitter and Facebook as well at the same handle. Okay. Great. Well, I, uh, the folks, uh, follow him, write him a note, just let him know, you know, if, uh, that you're praying for him. Um, and also check out this movie, uh, The Reliant, um, which is one of the movies, uh, one of the you know, latest movies that, I, that it, Josh, I believe, has been on. Well, thank you, Josh. Uh, I'm glad we finally got you on. Actually, I've been wanting to get you on for a while, but this little thing that I read on Facebook just kind of pushed me into, come on, get him on right now. So thank you so much, awesome. man. All righty. Oh, to talk to you guys. You bet. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Don't forget, if you want to write us, you can write us at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. And of course, you can always follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at faithonfilmtv. And if you want to watch some great content for your whole family, simply go to Parables TV, a place where you can watch movies, documentaries, reality shows, children's shows, just a lot of great content for you and your family. Simply go to parables.tv. That's parables.tv. And it's free. All you have to do is register. Well, until next week, take care.